Welcome to Wildlife Wanderings. I'm Andrew Wegener. I love to get out in the outdoors and to nature to see what we can find. Whether it's in a local park, down here at the beach, or in a nature reserve, or even overseas. It's great to see what we can find that God's made for us, and we're going to see what we can find down here today at the reef. Let's go and have a look. Well, now the tide's come in. It's about time we did some beach combing. Look at what we've just found. There's seaweed everywhere. If you start looking and wandering through this, it's amazing what we should be able to find if we look carefully, walk slowly. There's always a treasure trove of all sorts of creatures that might come up. It's just a matter of looking carefully for them and having a look in the weed, see what we can come through and find. A sea dragon over here, get washed up. These are beautiful little creatures related to the seahorse family. They'll get washed up with the high tide line. So that's related to the seahorse. You'll see these in aquariums. I'm not a diver, so um, I'm not going to go out there and see them, but if you went to a major aquarium, you'd see these. And then this morning we found some sea urchins. This is one of the empty tests. It's an empty shell from a sea urchin. That's without the spines on it, which we saw this morning. And you've always find some sponges. Sponges get washed up on the beaches regularly as well. There's different sorts of sponges that you can find. These are the dead ones. We found some live ones under a rock early today when the tide was out. Then you get different shapes that you can find as well. One of the, the fan sponges, quite a large, large specimen. But we'll keep looking. You never know what you might see. There should be shark eggs too if we look carefully. It's just a matter of getting down sometimes and going through the weed, spending a bit of time. There's a few smaller species that we should be able to get. Here's one. Now that's from a, a cat shark, one of the small shark species that feeds on shellfish out of here at um, Point Leo. If you look carefully in amongst the weed, it just blends in so well, and you'd think it was another bit of dried seaweed. But that's from the cat shark. And we'll see what other species we might be able to find. We'll put those over there and see what else we can get. Here's a larger one. This is from the Port Jackson shark. It's a, well, it's like a corkscrew in them. The shark gets it in her mouth, puts it in amongst the rocks after she's laid it. The baby shark hatches out of here and swims off, and that egg case gets washed up along the beach sh shoreline. So as you're beach combing, and you're doing your wildlife wanderings along this marine environment, you'll get those. And here we have a, this is from a skate. Now that's similar to a stingray. It's also camouflage well in amongst the weeds, so you wouldn't see it if it's been laid out there by the mother skate. That's another one of the egg cases that we should be able to find. We'll keep looking, see what else we've got. 